Friday morning, lots of boxes arrived of high-vis stuff. Dad's putting wood chip into there. And uh, it's Mum's birthday. Just having a quick brew with me Joe Seals mug. It's quite hot though. This is the field of barley we sown on the shore, but it's really struggled because it's been in sandy land and it's been quite dry. Anyway, it's just getting all its heads on it now, so you can see all the whiskers on the top. But it looks like it doesn't look very healthy, and I think it's probably from lack of water. Hopefully, the half inch we've had recently, and a bit this afternoon, it'll pick its feet up a bit. But I'd expect it to have been a bit further on. It looks hungry as well, but it's probably not got hold of the last dose of fertilizer yet because it's been so dry. But, but keep an eye on it. I like to think we'll be cutting this in here. What we're on now, May, eight weeks maybe. Just been out doing a bit of spraying and just come past Brookhouse, check everything's okay for someone this afternoon and then realizing the grass has grown an enormous amount in the last few days. So we we'll have to shoot up and cut the grass in a minute. So back to the yard. It's supposed to rain as well this afternoon. So I want to do it before I get wet because there's no cab on the mower. I found this uh, random dog running down the road. Um, I don't know where it's come from. It shot out of that gateway there, but there's loads of houses in there, so I kind of don't know what to do with it. Come on. Come on. Let's go back here and see if we can find your owner. It, must, it seems to know its way. I'll cross it over the road and see if it runs back to its house. Well, it's heading back into the retirement village, so that's a start. Well, seems to have trotted off down there. Hopefully someone will know who it is. Pallet seed socks on the way to Spalding's. Just loading them up now. Just waiting for the labels, though, to stick on the pallet so they don't go missing. Just moving Elliot's new Hitachi digger. It's a bit of a beast. It's got a blade on it there which looks huge, dead quick as well. Must have some big hydraulic pumps in it. And it's got all the switches on now for the steel wrist. But obviously it's just got a standard bucket on at the moment. It's nice though. It's like a screen out of a Merc. It's proper that. It also uh, matches me hoodie. So these are now in stock as well. Got little drawstrings on as well. Check it out. Quickly load up the little mower, go and mow, mow the lawn at Brookhouse, which is the holiday let, if anyone didn't know. It's, it's actually fully booked now till the 9th of September, the only weekend it's not booked up, which is really good because it means it's paying the mortgage. Going nowhere, someone's left the GPS turned on so the mower won't start. Battery's completely flat try with this you know it's going to start raining before i finish don't you so it's a good job i have got my hoodie on I've got a slight issue here i've jump started it down there well i can't get off the seat because it wants to turn itself off to turn the jump starter off and i wanted to leave it running so it charged up to get there so i'm gonna have to try and carry the jump starter which i won't be able to film to load it on the trailer and then take it with me and jump start it when i get there then hopefully not stall it I actually can't lean down far enough to grab it without the weight coming off the seat and it turning off. So I've rung Rob, so Rob's going to come round, take the jump pack off. I can drive round onto the trailer and then take it with me and jump it. But keep hold of it when I'm on the seat. You can see on the window, I've not even got there and it's raining. Just have to back to the workshop because the tyre was soft on the trailer as well. Finally, I'm setting off. I'm here, it's not raining, but the satellite picture doesn't look too clever. Look at that. is a bit of a pain. Could have brought a strimmer. It's now properly raining, as you can see. And the seat is now wet through to unload. Let's just back it in the shed. Maybe just back it in the shed and unload it when it's dry. No, I need the trailer off. I'll just have to get something to sit on. It is well handy, that little mower. Someone said yesterday that there wasn't, they prefer it when the videos have tractors in. So, <laughs> some tractors. Also, Tom's just sent me 
that his latest video from Lama is currently trending at number one in the first two hours because it's got tractors on the front cover of it. So if anyone wants to go and check out Tom's channel for a tractor fix, um, check it out. That's Tom Pemberton, by the way. But yeah, so anyone that wants to see more tractors, there is some of the tractors in the shed. And you can hear the fast track work on the other side of that wall moving grain round. And when I was walking around Lama, I walked on the open field stand and I went, so Joe, show me the, tell me the benefits of, of uh, open field, which I didn't realize the camera's pointing out to the last minute and then like got scared and ran off. Anyway, they have sent me a video of open field, but I'll tell you the benefits that I find of open field is, for instance, yesterday, I ordered three load of urea and then back to back dealt, dealt it with grain. So I then sold six load of grain for November. So the rear, I think, was 700 and odd pound a ton, and the wheat was 300 and odd pound a ton. So they, they nearly match each other. So it's just dead handy, sort of trading grain with someone that you're selling, uh, sorry, that you're buying fertilizer or something that you're trading grain with. Also, as well, get, when we harvest the grain and tell them the tonnages, we can divide up an estimated price for that and have it as a monthly cash flow and draw against it even if the grain's sold or not, which really helps because it means you don't have to sell grain on a bad day if you need the money to pay bills. Hi Ollie, thanks very much for coming to see Open Field at Lama. We hope you had a fantastic time. Just to, a reminder that Open Field is the only arable grain marketing and arable inputs cooperative in the UK. We're owned by 4,000 British farmers. We supply oilseed rape, uh, wheat and barley to go that goes on to make food, drink, beer, lots of food ingredients going on and uh, we really appreciate your support. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye. Four wire brushes. Today's quiz question. Guess how much delivered. Ordered at eight o'clock last night. From Amazon. So I suppose you could check. But yeah, guess how much? I couldn't believe that. I'm always looking for one, so I just thought I'll buy I'll buy a packet of them chip apart update so the place that sells the steel now has folders and rollers so they've we left it with them and they've cut that out welded that plate in there and then cut out under here curved us that plate which you might be able to see better like that and welded that in as well so they've done a nice job of that and what they charged us with the man hours that we'd have had to do messing around because we've not got something for rolling it i think i think they did it cheaper than we could have fixed it ourselves which was quite nice Quite a bit of dust coming out the dryer there now. We're just finishing off cleaning the rest of that wheat. We decided just to put the whole lot through while we're doing it. Cause then also we got a consistent product in the pile and obviously we were weighing it anyway. So we're just giving it half an hour in the dryer with the other running. It's just starting to rain again now, which is nice. We wanted it, what did you say? Wet and windy May fills the barns with corn and hay or straw and hay. Hopefully corn, not really bothered about the straw. We might chop that anyway. Sorry to upset the livestock farmers watching, but the price of fertilizer now, I don't think it's gonna be worth bailing. See if he spills any. Nope. Got a little bit more in the front by the looks of things. Nope, he's giving up. Oh no, he's not. He's going again. Seeing the camera pointing at him now. get just over 18 ton in just by filling it with a bucket like that you get a little bit more in sometimes off the combine because you can kind of fill the corners a bit easier see coming up the window there it's only really a small pile left now in the corner should get that finished off over the weekend or on Monday goes look how clean it looks now no chaff in it nice and shiny that's the chaff that it's hoovered out it's not running at the moment so we can get a video because otherwise it's dusty but yeah it hoovers all that rubbish out something tells me rob has spilt some wheat on the yard Lots of birthdays today. There they all are on the birthday bumper. And if you want to be on the birthday bumper, you need to scan that now or take a picture of the screen. My mum's on there and my auntie Barbara as well, because it's obviously their birthday. 
The 6th of May is my mum's birthday, but it's also a sad day and it's even worse this year because it's a Friday. So Friday, six years ago on the 6th of May, my friend David decided that the world would be a better place without him. And he, he took his life. He, he wasn't found for over 24 hours, which then took it to the Sunday. So the coroner said that it was a, Sunday was the actually official the day he died. But those that are close to him know that he went off radar on the Friday night. Now next week is Mental Health Awareness Week. Well, I've got a pair of lights coming out of my head, don't I? So, sorry about that, it's a bit distracting from serious subjects. Anyway, I obviously have on the hashtag answers percent. So when someone asks you how you are, don't say you're fine. Tell people how you are as a percent. Let's see if all next week, everyone can do it. And we're gonna to start today. So everyone that's watching, don't go, oh, I can't be bothered commenting. Comment, put your percentage, just your percentage. And anyone that's low, anyone else can read the comments. See how everyone is. We all need to make the world a better place. So today I'm around 75%. percent i would be a lot higher only for the fact I know what day it actually is other than my mum's birthday. Anyway, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Like I say, leave a comment, tell me all how you are and don't be lazy because there's 20,000 people watch this but for some reason in, within 24 hours, but for some reason we get like not even 100 comments some days. So don't be shy, leave a comment and I'll see you tomorrow.